Shalom. This is a new Yeshua Mizra at Hebrew on Island 2. Today's video is called The Land of Nod is the entire world now. The Land of Nod. Nod was located east of Eden where Cain was exiled by Elohim after Cain had murdered his brother Abel. <coughs> Excuse me. In Hebrew, Nod means as a verb to wonder, to take up as a wandering life. It also means to be agitated, to be a fugitive. That's what Nod means. Cain continued his wickedness in Nod, resorting to violence, robbery, establ establishing weights and measures, which is our current currency system that's been set up for centuries already, transforming human culture from innocence into craftiness, Pushing Baal worship, witchcraft, Satanism, feminism, homosexuality, transgenderism, AI, and merging with the AI and deceit, establishing property lines and buildings and fortified cities. When we associate Nod, it is said to be outside the presence of the face of Elohim. Nod is also referred to as the land of trembling and symbolize the condition of all who forsook Elohim. This is Nod. That's why my title is, The Land of Nod is the Entire World Now. To go to the land of Nod plays with the phrase to nod off, to go to sleep. So as you can see, the majority of the world, including the two thirds of lawless Negroes, which are the Israelites, the true physical Israelites, and they only are the Negroes, have nodded off and went to deep sleep, lawless to the core, handing out pillows, blankets, and sleeping pills to all those near and far. They all are citizens of the land of Nod. Are you also, and I'm talking to whoever's listening to this video, are you sleeping? Are you nodding off into dreamland where the most high laws don't exist for you? Call me to Genesis chapter 4, verses 8 to 15. Genesis 4, verses 8 to 16. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother. And it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. And the Most High said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from, the, from thy hands. Verse 16. And Cain went out from the presence of the Most High, and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. That's why I told you before that when we associate Nod, it is said to be outside the presence of the face of Elohim. That's where Cain went, <clears throat> to the land of Nod. <clears throat> Come with me to Psalm 11 too. Psalm 11 too. For lo, the wicked bind their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the string, that they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. <clears throat> America, a.k.a. the land of Nod. Just look at police shootings of the true Israelites, which are only the Negroes, in the streets daily, and it's sanctioned by the government. Europe, the same way, basically the whole world, because the whole world hates the chosen people of the Most High. The people that are pinned in the book that almost everybody loves called the Bible. It's the Negro. Come with me to Lamentations chapter 2 verse 15. <clears throat> Lamentations chapter 2 verse 15. The most I have trodden underfoot all my mighty men in the midst of me. And, and Lamentations is the Lamentation of Jeremiah. People, most people don't know that. Lamentations 2.15 The most I have trodden underfoot all my mighty men in the midst of me. He hath called an assembly against me to crush my young men. The most I have trodden the virgin, 
the daughter of Judah as in a wine press. What has happened and is happening to the Negro, aka true physical Israelite, we have been trodden down and crushed by, by the wicked, recessive heathen Gentiles. There's nothing new under the sun. <clears throat> Call me to Ezekiel 35.5. Ezekiel 35.5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time their calamity had an end. I told you that we live in the land of Nod. Cain, a.k.a. the wicked, a.k.a. the heathen Gentiles, are filled to the brim with hatred towards us, the Negro, the true Aboriginal of the Americas. Remember, the maps are wrong, everything's wrong. Remember, when these demon heathens lied, they had to lie about everything. The old world is the Western Hemisphere, not the Eastern Hemisphere. The Americas, not just America, North America, South America, Mexico, Brazil, Peru, all the Caribbean, all the stuff on the West Side is the old world. The maps are wrong. You just, you, you just don't, you never heard it and you never researched it. That's the land flowing with milk and honey. They've crushed us here. Call me to Jeremiah 13.22, Jeremiah 13.22. Can an Ethiopian change his skin or a leopard his spots? Then may ye also be good that are accustomed to do evil? See, in the land of Nod, Cain continue his wickedness in Nod. Just as America, Europe, and the entire world engulfed, submersed in the wickedness of all shapes and colors, they're wicked to the core. And you know I'm not lying. Just look around you. Go on the internet. <laughs> See what's going on. See what they promote. It's pure wickedness. As my title was pinned, the land of Nod is the entire world now. Remember, Cain continued his wickedness in Nod, doing all these things in the beginning. Call me to Jeremiah 22.13. Jeremiah 22.13. Woe unto him that Buildeth this house by unrighteousness and his chambers by wrong that uses his neighbor's services without wages and giveth him not for his work. And I tie that Jeremiah 22 in with Habakkuk 2.12, which is a great one. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity. Now I ask you, viewer, how is America, Europe, Russia, China, India, and, and the rest of them established and built? Listen, I don't want to make my video long, so I will tell you. By bloodshed, killing, murder, robbery, extreme wickedness. If America, Europe, and most of the world isn't, isn't the land of Nod on steroids, I don't know what is. Wickedness to the core, just like their father Cain. Like father, like son. To live in the land of Nod is to live outside the face of the presence of the Most High, which equals living lawlessly. The whole world is lawless. You are not living in the matrix, as many say. You're living in the land of Nod. Remember, Nod was the land that all forsook Elohim. Look at their laws. Look what they do. Look what they promote. Do I have to tell you? You live in the land of Nod, Negro. I know everybody wants, oh, you're living in the Matrix. We're here at Hebron Island. I'm telling you, you're living in the land of Nod. This is a new Yeserim Israel at Hebron Island too. Hopefully this was edifying. And, you know, hey, maybe you didn't know anything about the land of Nod. Until next time, next time. <laughs>